Here we go, the battle. The conflict between Briggs and Drachma. Oh my god. I don't know what I was expecting. I'm like, yeah, this will be a fun little battle between... Oh my god. Yeah, you trusted Kimberly. That was her first mistake. This shouldn't be happening. Who guaranteed victory? What happened to the turncoats who would attack from the inside? Yeah. Well, that was fast. Is that his hat? Fire, men! That was too easy. Yeah, exactly. Something else is going on. But why? There he is. The crest is carved. Oh, he's making the blood seal. That's genius. Yeah, that means everything's complete, right? That's it. The circle's done. The crests are done. Does that mean now Father can do his thing? Whatever that thing is? <laughs> that was a crazy start to the episode. I thought that conflict would be a lot longer. You aren't listening! I told you! Alka history is all about reading the dragon's pulse! Uh-oh, couple fight. They're rambunctious, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Sorry to impose on you. You're not imposing. Damn, this car's so gentle. Look at this. We're gonna head out to find some firewood. Would you mind letting Zampano know for me? Where is Zampano, I wonder? And where the hell is Zampano? Why does he get to wander off while I get tortured? Yeah, you're onto something there, Yoki. They're close by. Follow me. You lead the way, Zampano. Oh no, it's Envy! Episode 43, Bite of the Ant. I feel like we're basically at the beginning of the end of the show. I just wanted one moment where I didn't get fooled by Envy. At this point, it just feels like it's never gonna happen. That's okay. So I hear you've discovered Salim's true identity. Yes. The way he brought that up so and casually. You're also aware of who I am. Yes. Bradley's always so right out in the open with everything. It's so refreshing. How do you feel about your leader being a homunculus? I think it's sad the family I've answered to and trusted isn't real. Everything from my power down to my rank was appointed to me. Most of my life is just an act. Most but of my, my life. my life, at least, was of my own choosing. <laughs> These Bradley conversations are just the gift that keeps on giving. He's like, so, by the way, uh, I heard that <laughs> you've uncovered everything. I feel like on some level, Bradley's the ultimate troll. I understand, though. I imagine it could get a little bit boring sometimes, running a country, hatching a murderous plot, you know? You gotta find enjoyment in the little things like harassing your inferiors. The more conversations like this I hear from Bradley, the more I wonder where he'll fall. I could be misinterpreting it, but that sounded like regret a little bit. Like nothing was my choice except for my wife, which is one of the things he actually seems to care about. And I can't stop thinking about that conversation he had with Pride when we first heard Pride about father not being too pleased with him. Who is this man with you? He's just a nice drifter I met. He was hoping you might be able to examine you him, can stop. Why something. are you sweating? Oh, well. Nobody's falling for your bad acting. Yeah. You honestly believed you could pull one over on me? What is this? Zapato! <laughs> now, what were you saying about my acting? It's bad? Whoa, he totally Thank fooled you, me. You I'm sorry, Zapato. our plans to lure you here any easier. Whoa, this is crazy. You take such delight in your cruelty. I knew you'd come to capture me on your own. Wow. And now that you've got me here, will you ask for it? Yeah, that's not the end of it. They plan more than a few spikes. That kind of alchemy doesn't even exist! Damn it! See, Envy's capable of anger. How does it feel to have the tables turned on you? It's not as much fun on that side, is it? But this can't be the whole plan. <laughs> it's working perfectly. He doesn't know it's remote mm. Right, right. Good job, <laughs> Mei-Chung. That's enough! You should have just done as you were told! Oh no, is he gonna dinosaur again? I gotta give some credit to Dr. Marco. And to Zampano for his amazing acting. He totally fooled me. I'm not exactly sure what their endgame is, though. I don't think we saw much last time except that they discovered there's another kind of circle. There's the Alchestry circle. What do they need envy for? Oh yeah, he's dinosauring. I was waiting for Scar. Now then, what do you think of this? Man, they were organized. Whoa. I gotcha. Doctor! Whoa, stay put. Unless you want him dead. Now then, how should I punish you? What do you think, Doctor? How about I wipe out a village of innocent people? I'm not gonna let you do that! <laughs> Quit 
trying to resist Marco. He just looks stupid. There we go. That slum is ripe for destruction. <laughs> Don't do it! But it would be wasteful to simply kill them. I could always take them back to Central instead. We are running low on ingredients. Monster! You're still using souls to make philosopher stones! I won't let you! Let my research team go, damn it! Uh, oh, sorry. It's a little late to release them now that we've turned them into philosopher stones. You... you sacrificed my men? <laughs> what? I forgot to tell you. Oh, well, Doctor. There's no point crying over spilled milk now. It's not right for you to get so upset considering all the stones you've made. And all the lives you put into them. <laughs> the villains in the show do such a great job of, like, throwing things back in people's faces. Is it weird that that was a touching moment for me for Dr. Marco, even though it's in the middle of his action scene? I haven't talked a lot about Dr. Marco, but he fits right in with a lot of the characters who have done terrible things, but are using that as motivation to try to make things right. Or not make things right, because he can't undo the past, but to try to do the best thing he knows how to do. And it's been clear from his first introduction that he's deeply regretful, but he hasn't quite sunk totally into despair and self-loathing, like he helped Ed, because he recognized that that was important. And he's still fighting, you know, like he's been on this journey the whole time. And he did give up, right? He did give up at that one point. He asked Scar to kill him. But ultimately what happened was so much better, like Scar sparing him was such a great thing, because now he's able to help, you know, he's able to do good things in the world. But for some reason right now with him crying over his workers, I feel more connected to him than I ever was. You're right. I've sacrificed many innocent lives to make your damned philosopher's stones. I know better than anyone else how much pain goes into creating them. And not only do I know how to create them, but I know how to destroy them as well! Whoa. Speaking of doing some good. Full Metal Alchemist. That is awesome. Damn, Marco just became such a badass. I feel like I've been sleeping on him this whole time. All right, good. Please, no more dinosaur form. Is this the end of Envy? I can never be defeated by pathetic creatures like you. And you, you chimeras. Don't quit looking at me. How dare you look at me? Don't look down on me, you worms! Don't look. Oh my god, what is that? This is an even better punishment for envy than death. This is yeah. the thing that caused so much damage. Dr. Marco, man. We did it, Marco. We won. I was really not expecting that. It doesn't seem like Envy's dead because they still have that little thing. It reminds me of uh the Nightmare Before Christmas with, what's his name? Oogie Boogie? My bugs! But yeah, I think that's the perfect punishment for Envy. Having everybody stand around him, pitying him, or thinking that he's pathetic. It's very poetic. And it's especially amazing having Dr. Marco be the one after all the torment that Envy put him through. That's some sweet revenge. But I think Envy's still alive. What's that? Kill it. Unless they need it for research. I can't believe you guys would keep me in the dark about this. <laughs> That's what you get for picking up with us humans, grotesque temple. I've always done what I was told to do. I had to take a risk and think for myself this time. I put my fear aside and did what was right. I wanted to be like your parents. Wow. You were, but try not to be so reckless. Sure. Ah! I love that. <laughs> Help! Get it off me! <laughs> Leave it to Yoki. Stop it! Let go! Somebody help me! I can't control my body! That's right, you can't! Now if you want him to live, you'll do as I tell you! Nah, he's all yours. Do what you want. It's not I like can't believe they actually said that. <laughs> Poor Yoki, I'm sorry. I didn't know you better. We'll never forget your sacrifice! Yeah. <laughs> right. Better Yoki than anybody else. Right. <laughs> I mean. What, what is this? Doesn't anyone care about this guy? You're wasting your time, Envy. 
We've accepted the measures we'll have to take to defeat you. We'll destroy both you and this man if you don't surrender. Damn it! You picked the wrong wrong character, honestly. I'm afraid I'm not used to bluffing like that. <laughs> Damn all of you! Were they bluffing though? Were they? So what now? Should we head back to Bosco school to check? No. That's not what brother would want. You just gotta he trust, trust for now. I was all right and wouldn't let a rumor stop him. Yeah, that's tough. I'll go my separate way for now. <sighs> I realize something about the actions I've taken. I don't intend to simply punish this country for what it did to Ishval. I want to change it. Wow. And I'll need your help, Marco. The two of us need to set things right. All right, then. We'll travel together. In order to change this country. Actually, I've got some place I've been meaning to check out. Oh, where's that? It's a town called Lior. I'm not sure, but I've got a feeling the tunnel runs under it. <gasps> it yeah. does. Take this thing and return to your country. Uh, hold on! It's the remnants of a seemingly indestructible creature. It might appease your emperor enough to save your clan. Uh, I can't! Who's gonna teach you about Alka history if I leave? You need That's to right. think about we... your own country. Have you forgotten why you came here in the first place? Your clan could lose its power struggle. And what explanation will you have for them when you return home? Will you apologize and tell them you were too busy saving another country? <laughs> now go home. Forget this place. Leave this country's problems to its people. Interesting. She can't, though. Not now. I mean, they're okay with it, but she's not going to be. Thank you! For everything! Or are they trying to keep her out of danger? I can see that, too. Because things are about to go down, and she's a little kid. But anyway, going back, I love that reference to the conversation Scar had with Miles. Revenge against the entire country was wrong to begin with, because who does that even mean exactly? You know, that includes people like Ad Alwinry. And even though he might not care that much, it also includes people who really regret their actions in Ishval, like Roy Mustang. About Mei Chung, and also I guess related to Scar, it's sort of weird for me to think about her placing priority on her people over the evil that she sees right in front of her. On some level, I get it, because it's her family, it's people she cares about, and I understand why we categorize things that way, and like, helping the things that you know are helping the things that you're a part of. But on some level, those boundaries or those categorizations are artificial. Like, she's facing a real evil that will probably spread to Shing. And these are also people who she really cares about, and she could really help with her alchemy. history. So I have a feeling she's gonna stick around. There she goes. Uh-huh. We should start moving as well. Let's go. Damn, it actually felt really good having them all together like that. But they had their moment. They had a great moment in this episode. There he is! It's been such a long time. Would you be so kind as possibly move your foot, please? You are to address me as General! Yes, General! Ouch. You're just as gutless as I remember you being. How dare you? So, I heard your men completely annihilated the Drachma forces. Of course Yeah, like five seconds. But won't that hasten the enemy's transmutation circle? I don't give a damn. It was their duty to defend the border. And that's what they did. And Drachma won't even think twice about attacking again! Now they know that our country is not one to be meddled with! Oh my, you've only grown more ferocious. How will you ever find a husband if you continue to- You brought that on yourself. I need to get away from you before I start to catch your cowardice. How could you be so mean to Alex Louise Armstrong? Strong, he's so nice. What about creating people? Why do you suppose the state would so firmly enforce this regulation? It's simply unethical, sir. It's even taboo amongst alchemists. From what I understand, they regard it as an implicit sacrilege against God. There's more to it than that. Isn't why. The state has no interest in ethics. They're too much of a variable to use as a guideline. The true reason is far less abstract. The third tenet is to prevent someone from creating their own army, General. Does that mean they have an army? Uh, Another end credit scene. Disaster. You think there's any place left standing where we it's can Lior. get something to eat? I think so. It's around here somewhere. You're gonna meet Rose. There she is. Rose! How are you? What a surprise! So, Al, what brings you back to Lior? Looks like the kid knows her, doesn't he? We went through a lot together. That's too bad. I've actually really missed him. 
Winry? What, what, Al? Oh, nothing. You just kind of had a funny look on your face. That's all. I oh. did not. You're imagining things. What, is she getting okay, jealous? Rose, these pots are as clean as they get. Whoa. He's still here. <laughs> no, don't end it there. Come on. Damn you. I got cliffhanger twice. In one episode? I don't like that. That episode shocked the hell out of me. I was not expecting Dr. Marco to be that awesome and for Envy to sort of be taken out. I mean, Envy's not out of the picture. I feel like that's too big of a loose end not to tie up, so I feel like we'll see Envy and May again. But still, that whole sequence was incredible. We got some major character changes or redemption things happening for Dr. Marco and also for Scar. This seems like the culmination for him in a lot of ways, like I'm talking about changing the country. It's really fun how all these little conversations end up being really important, you know, like they're all learning from each other constantly, and they each influence each other to be better in their own individual ways. That's something we've seen with just about everyone. We've seen that with Ed and Al a lot, obviously, like their encounters in the world constantly force them to reflect, and we see how Ed has internalized that, where he's like ready to die for his beliefs, you know, to help people. We see that with Winry coming to terms with Scar to the point where they can coexist, which is crazy. And in Scar's case, there were a lot of factors, a lot of inputs, but in this episode, it focused a lot on the conversation with Miles, who's really a side character, right, when you think about it, but still ends up bringing a lot to the table, which is one of the best things about the show, is that everybody feels important, except for Yoki. But what are you gonna do? Yoki's importance is being unimportant. We need a punching bag. Another episode without Ed, which is crazy. I really enjoyed everyone being together for that brief time. You know, that whole crew coming together, it was really cool. And so it's sort of sad to see them split up, but it's it's equally exciting to see that being somewhat replaced by Alan Hohenheim. I can see a lot of potential there. And Winry, of course, and also Rose. There's just so much setting up, there's so much happening. I can feel the tension, I can feel the build up. This show always plays with me. Like, I never know what to expect from one episode to the next. My thinking going into this episode was that it would be like the battle against Drachma, but no, that's too basic. Drachma is gonna get wiped out in the first five seconds and Kimberly's gonna make the blood seal. And then we're gonna have heroism from Dr. Marco because why not? But yeah, really great stuff. I'll see you guys next time for episode 44.